just got back from hunting thinking. Shopping bags, pretty fine, bitches. Look at me, I'm a geek, tripping. Future waves, I will be copping. Think you are, small legends, dudes doing them reviews, fella. What's going on? It's your boy, that was dude. And you know I got it, so subscribe. What's going on? It's your boy that was doing today. We're doing another action figure review today. We're going to be looking at DC Collectibles, Batman, Arkham Knight, Arkham Knight figure. Man, been on a mission looking for this figure. Couldn't find it for the life of me. GameStop never got it. I should have pre-ordered it like the, the kid told me to, but I didn't. Figured, you know, I'll get it. I, I know I'll get it. But, um, wasn't the case. Sold out really quick. And, um, pain in the butt to find. And eBay was scalping the crap out of this figure. And I'm happy to say I found it at Walker Stalker Con. Uh, we went sat a couple Saturdays ago. You see, last, last. It was going to be two weeks. So we went, two weeks ago, we went to Walker Stalker Con. And, um,. One of the toy booths there just had him, and um, I think I paid a decent price for him. Paid thirty bucks. Very happy with that, and I'm um, very happy with this figure, man. I mean, he's very limited articulation-wise in certain areas, which kind of sucks because you don't get much posability out of him. But I'm just happy I got him. The detailing is phenomenal. I do have other complaints, and we'll get into that in, in the, down in this review. Right now, let's just take a look at the packaging. As you can see here, got the the game logo, figure number two in the lot, Arkham Knight, price tag, 30 bucks. Then you get the back of the box, which shows all the figures in this line. I have Batman, I have Arkham Knight, and Scarecrow. I passed on Harley Quinn because I picked up the SH Figure Arts one. And this figure was sculpted by Gentle Giant Studios, who does a phenomenal job in a lot of the things they do. Um, now we get to this figure. I love this figure so much, man. I'm just so happy I finally got him. I'm going to zoom in on him. Look at the detailing. His detail is sick. I'm going to come in a little closer. As you can see, his detailing is phenomenal. Pan down. Look at the camo. Everything is nice, man. His feet. So for those of you who don't know, I still haven't ended this game, but I'm... I pretty much can figure out what's going on. Um, this is Red Hood. This is Red Hood. This is Jason Todd. And um, so far, the, far, the furthest I got in the game so far is it's really good. It's a good game. Um, this was made obvious by the GameStop exclusive Red Red Hood figure that came out from this line. So, there's that. And then they have the armored Red Hood figure coming out soon, which is basically this figure with a bat insignia on the chest. And he will have the Red Hood helmet, which is very similar to the one he has now. I just have the bat ears on this one. Um... The gun is nice. It's a nice touch. It's actually the two pistols from the Red Hood figure combined into a rifle, which is a dope aspect. That's kind of Batman-esque right there. That's something Batman would probably conjure up if he used guns. Um, the paint work is phenomenal. You know, he got a lot of grays going on, some blacks, different color blacks. The camo is burgundy and red, which is urban camo. Um... <coughs> I really like this sculpt a lot, man. It's a really good looking figure. Look at the back. Nice. I like the Arkham Knight logo on his arm. This is a really dope figure, man. Love it. Love the detail and the, the grenades and everything. Um, Some complaints about this figure is I wish they had in the game... In the, on his head scope, he has like a, a lighting effects when he talks. I wish they gave us that, gave us the eyes and all that. That would have been really dope, but they didn't. So it's a plain black helmet, plain black bike like helmet. I mean, we could tell where his eyes go and all that, but you know, they should have gave us that. They should have gave us the eyes and some lighting 
light lines going in. Give it, give it would definitely, definitely give the head sculpt some life. Uh, I might embark on that myself. I'm not too sure because this is the only Red Hood figure I have, and uh, I don't want to mess it up. Uh, the, take a closer look at his rifle. You can see the the Red Hood logo there, the bat logo. I like this. It's not even a. I don't. I wouldn't say gunmetal. It's like a like an alloy, a metallic alloy. Nice looking color is nice and shiny you can tell it's supposed to be two, two pistols because it has the handles this figure is really this gun is really nice man it's a really nice concept kind of like a cable gun something cable would probably use let's set it off to the side if you want to take a closer look again at his detail and look at the gauntlets his gloves everything is nice man i don't know i kind of sometimes i get a vibe like a war machine vibe out of this figure but it's really cool, man. A really nice figure. Take a look at him in the profile view. He looks really nice. <clears throat> Bear with me as I move the tripod back. Yeah, man. He was worth the 30 bucks. I'm so happy I found him. Um, his articulation is really good. Certain aspects. Except for his legs. His legs suck. His head does not go up much it does go side to side it goes down a bit as you can see here he's looking down I assume straight forward he has ball joint in the shoulders no bicep swivel single joint in the elbow and it also swivels there he has a wrist that that goes side to side in his hand so it goes up and down he has a diaphragm joint which swivels side to side no pivot that would have been cool but it's okay he has a nice, nice ab crunch that looks kind of funny when you do it all the way. But it goes that forward and it goes back just a little bit, which is totally fine with me. But I like it. No way so, of course, because he swivels at the diaphragm. His legs go out that much, which is very disappointing. He can't kick forward at all. It's a pain in the butt. He has mid-cut thigh swivels on both legs. Double-jointed knees, which is always a plus. And no boot rotation with his ankles are hinged, so they go up, down, all the way, and he does have a rocker. Um, they're supposed to be re-releasing this figure because there, there wasn't much manufactured on the recent release. So they want to make sure we all get them. There was some production issues, uh, apparently, on this figure, along with some other stuff, DC Collectibles has has been doing like uh we were supposed to get a Capullo uh two face and there were some there were some issues there also with production so um he's been heavily delayed but uh otherwise uh these figures are phenomenal man DC collectibles is doing their thing Especially now with the DC, with the Icon series and all that. So I'm very happy. I'm very excited to what's come on this line. The next must get figure in this line is that Armored Red Hood. You gotta pick that up. I highly recommend it. His articulation is way better than this one, this figure. And, um, and if you can get the DC, the GameStop exclusive Red Hood. By all means, do so. He is phenomenal. If not, check my review. I put that up a while back. So that's the review here. Hit the like button if you're feeling it. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't. Let me know what you think about this figure. I like it. Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. I don't know. Your thoughts. Holla at your boy. It's your boy that was due. And I'm out. One.